Barcelona secured their own Caicedo this summer, potentially leading to a £17 million transfer battle with Liverpool. The initial signs indicate that Liverpool has effectively rebuilt its midfield during this summer's transfer window. However, there is still one area of concern. Both Alexis Mack Alistair and Dominic Sabozlai have adapted quickly and performed exceptionally well, drawing no concerns. The situation in defensive midfield, though, remains uncertain. Wataru Endo, despite his success, is not seen as a long-term solution, as he was brought in as a quick fix after Moises Caicedo chose Chelsea over Liverpool. Meanwhile, we are eagerly awaiting Jurgen Klopp's plans for Ryan Gravenberg. Stefan Bajetic is another option in the defensive midfield role but has just returned from a lengthy injury absence. Additionally, the young Spaniard might find his future in a more advanced position, leaving Liverpool still in search of a defensive midfielder. Liverpool continues to be linked with various players for this position, and the latest rumour takes us to Belgium. Klopp's team is one of several clubs interested in signing Arthur Vermeeren from Royal Antwerp. Vermeeren is most strongly linked with Barcelona, a team he is set to face in the upcoming Champions League match. This interest from Barcelona is not surprising, as Xavi is also looking for a long-term successor to Sergio Busquets, facing a situation similar to Caicedo's this summer. In Barcelona's case, Martin Zubimendi declined their offer, although no public bid was made, possibly because the Real Sociedad star expressed his preference to stay put. Consequently, Xavi turned to the experienced Oriol Romeu, essentially filling the endo role. It will take some time before Vermeeren can be compared to players like Busquets or Caicedo. However, based on his statistics from last season, the 18-year-old is worth keeping an eye on for both Liverpool and Barcelona. Vermeeren's standout quality appears to be his tackling ability. In his debut senior season, he played 1,627 minutes in the league, averaging 2.54 tackles per 90 minutes. Despite playing only half of the available time, his 46 successful tackles ranked him 10th in the Belgian Pro League. His proficiency in ground duels, which encompass dribbles, fouls, and tackles, contributed to a 56% win rate. This win rate was the highest among Liverpool midfielders who played at least 50% of the minutes since James Milner achieved it in the 2018-19 season. The Mirren's dribbling ability also stood out, with a success rate of 16 out of 21 attempts and only being tackled three times in the process. These skills seemed to benefit Royal Antwerp's performance significantly. When Vermeeren played, their expected goal difference per 90 minutes improved by 0.83, ranking him second only to Alessio Castro Montes at Gent in terms of impact. His presence also increased his team's actual goal difference by an average of 1.05 per 90 minutes. Vermeeren's current contract will have two years remaining at the end of this season, making him a potential transfer target without a hefty fee. Liverpool's interest will likely depend on the performance of their newly signed midfielders over the next eight months, but don't be surprised if Arthur Vermeeren's name becomes a frequent topic of discussion throughout the 2023-24 season.